let's get started with the angular 12 project let me show you what okay so i have updated my angular cli to 12.0.2 which is the stable one now for angular 12 you need at least 12.14.12 uh, above node version so i have updated that also with this information i have created a demo project so i will go through the file structure there are some important files which we need to take care like uh, when we create a first project like angular.json here you will find all the configuration kind of settings related to angular application like if you are using any third party libraries like jquery bootstrap.js or it may be anything uh, like third party angular library like primeng or anything so all of their css or the js file need to be registered in angular.json we should not use index.html to uh, load all external css and html uh, jquery files okay so inside build we have options and inside option we have style and script section so inside style our all the css files will go and inside script or js file will go okay after then there are some settings like what should be my build size after what uh, amount of the kb i should get the error or the warning like uh, build size is getting increase okay uh, file replacement like uh, whenever we develop a project and deploy it to multiple environments we can have like uh, dev environment q environment production or uat for all those kind of settings we it basically provide with the two environment and product yes you can create your own as for your requirement same entry need to be go here and in environment bar suppose we have environment.ts environment.prod.ts so we just have two files if you want qa so you have to add third file here okay then we have certain settings like uh, we want to when uh, optimize the build then chunk sizes build optimizer we want to true or not uh, we want to turn on or not then i18 which is for language support then some of the setting for testing environments okay so it's kind of an important file angular.json after that we have second important file like package.json so package.json is a what we can say is the main file which hold down our angular project it consists of all the packages or the npm packages along with its version we have installed in our application okay so here you can see dependencies and dev dependencies so dependencies are the in dependencies we have all the packages which are helpful when we deploy the application on the server okay but dev dependencies are all the packages which we need when we run locally means when we run ng serve so whatever the functionality happens like it goes to the IS server uh, uh, on particular port to double zero number okay so for all this to happen we need these dev dependencies just for the interview purpose like uh, what is the difference between dev uh, dependencies and dev dependencies so dev depend dependencies are the packages which we need when we deploy the application to the server and dev dependency to run our application locally that's it then here we can have our version also every time you uh, deploy new build you can increase the version then there are the basic commands you can create your own also after that main.ts okay so main.ts is an whenever our angular application run this is the starting point from here our angular application starts okay so here you can see the reference to the app module environment and some angular library like animal prod and platform browser so here the main.ts is a main file from where execution start 
like I told you, like it will go to the app module. Okay. After main.ts in app folder, we have app module.ts. So app module.ts is another secondary file which is important where we when what are the components we create, what are the service we create, what are the pipes or directives we create, all has to be registered to all has to register with the in app module.ts inside declar declarations. Okay, so we would declaration we will have component directive and pipes and imports we will have module. All the external module or one you create all needs to go here. In providers, you have to register services from Angular 6 on. We don't need that, but uh, there are some specific services like if you talk about third party prime ng library, we have to use the model service or any other services. So if they are not compatible with the Angular latest Angular version, we have to register their service here to make use of bootstrap. We are just bootstrapping our application by providing the uh, bootstrap uh, component name of our app component which is the parent component okay after that when we create a project we get a first component with by default like app component so for component we can have at most four files when we create component first is app.component.ts which is again a typescript file with basic class this is a decorator at the red component tells us that this class is kind of a component class okay inside component decorator we have three mandatory attributes like selector this is a unique identifier for a component template url like uh, which, which is the html file we are going to use for this style url which is the css file which we are going to use okay and then uh, inside the class we can uh, declare variables plus we can have our own constructor okay after the spec dot here this is uh, for testing then this is an optional one html like i told you like it is being registered here so that this is our html file css so in in this css file what are the classes we need in this app component can be created here okay so i have run the project using command ngso ngs is a short form from ng sir and hyphen hyphen o is for opening the browser automatically so this is the by default it runs on the 4200 port so this is the basic page we get which comes with the default project you can see all everything here i'm removing everything let's print h1 and let's save it so it is compiled successfully now you can see the hello okay so this is about basic file structure so one one more question like what is node modules node module if you remember i told you like package.json has all the entries of the packages from the npm which we are going to need in our apl angular application okay so when we run the npm install or when we first create the project what it does it reads all the packages from here along with its version it goes to the npm download the package with specified version to this node module folder okay so these are all the dependencies uh, libraries which we need to run the angular project okay angular team is trying to minimize this because this is the big burden we have like most of the uh, most of the libraries we are not using or we can't be sure that this is be actually being useful to my project so angular team is also trying to minimize the version of node modules like what are the minimum files we need to run the angular application so with uh, all the versions they are releasing they are trying on that okay so one more folder asset if you want to keep all the uh, like images or any other text files or json files that you need in your application you can keep that in the asset folder okay style.css is a global if you need some css that needs to be accessed globally i mean from all the components then you can create your uh, classes in style.css then git.ignore these are the files we uh, when we 
integrate this with any uh, repository that uh, you don't need to push node module in the repository like right? because we don't need this in our repository so all the files which you don't need to be pushed to your repository that will go here i mean folder specific file everything which you don't want to go in the repository okay after that we have ts config these are uh, this is a another setting file which you need to configure your uh, compiler settings compiler option whatever the options you have for the compilation okay you can see like uh, strict is allowed or not then source map declaration then es uh, es5 framework which is the version and all other settings related to the typescript and uh, compilation okay so like uh, angular when we build or compile typescript gets converted to javascript pure javascript which is then uh, rendered that uh, rendered to the browser okay with angular 12 i think we are missing ts lint configuration file earlier earlier version we used to have that like uh, ts lint is a automatic build verification tool which we have with the angular in visual studio you can find that in here extensions so we are kind of missing that file where we can set our uh, automatic build very build verification or code verification rules i think 